<laughs> I trust you celebrated most heartily. Curious. I wonder if the tadpole shares in your suffering the morning after. Glad to hear it. You'll need fortitude for what's to come. I promise to help you with your infection. There's cause for hope, but it's complicated. Some form of magic is arresting the ceramorphosis process, while still granting you certain benefits. Your ability to read each other's thoughts, for instance. I've seen an affliction such as yours up close, before my capture. A drow forced me to defend myself. Afterwards, I was able to study the parasite that slithered out of the corpse, see what drives these true souls. I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. I could, but I'd be cutting it out of a corpse. We'll have to try a different approach. Magic such as this doesn't arise naturally. Someone is pulling the strings, someone of great power. If you wish to cure your infection, you must find them. These absolute wretches are rallied at Moonrise Towers, farther along the Chiontha. Whoever is behind this magic must be there. You must go there. The journey will be perilous, but it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or cutting through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel leading from the Temple of Saluna right down into the Underdark and beyond. The entrance is hidden somewhere in the Temple Ruins. Aradin and his lot thought they'd find fortune down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song, but I think there's more. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorne managed to rally a whole army of Dark Justices in a secret stronghold deep in the Underdark. From there, his forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers in secret. But Ketherick was defeated before he could launch an attack from the Underdark. Ketherick took his secrets with him to the grave, You'd need a veritable underground city to conceal the force he mustered. Yet none has ever been found. If you find it, I'll wager it'll reveal a route all the way to Moonrise Towers, bypassing the worst of the Shadow Curse. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. 
unfinished business. It seems our fates have aligned. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. I'm glad you approve. I do not truly care if you approve, but I am glad. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Indeed, we quite the journey ahead of us. <laughs>